Hello, welcome to the install video for Tidy Biology Fall 2019. My name is Matt Hershey, and in this video, I will walk you through the steps required to participate in this class. If you're not formally participating in this class and you're following along at home, then I'll provide a few additional steps at the end of the video that you'll need to do to access the course material. If you have any questions, you can go ahead and post them below, or you can send a note to email at tidybiology.org. Let's go ahead and get started. In this install video, we will go over installing RStudio Cloud and the Slack software that we use to communicate in class. So first, you need to navigate to rstudio.cloud. This is what the website looks like, and if you click on sign up, you will be able to enter in your name, email, choose a password, and then you will have access to RStudio Cloud. I've already done this, and so as soon as this loads, I will show you what the interface looks like. RStudio Cloud is a, uh, a, a alpha software that RStudio is um, allowing us to use for our class that essentially places RStudio in a cloud-based environment so we all have the same working environment for class. And this way, you will be able to access all of the uh, lecture material and also uh, submit your assignments. So when you uh, log into RStudio Cloud, um, you will see an interface that looks like this. This is your workspace. One workspace you should also see is uh, Tidy Biology 2019. If you click on this, then you will see the uh, learning uh, project, which is the one that I created for our class. Um, you will see that I have several others here because I'm an administrator, but you should see learning. When you click on learning, you can create a copy and save this uh, repository uh, to your own cloud environment, and anything that you do to it will be separate um, than, than what we have. All right, so go ahead and sign up for RStudio Cloud. If you don't yet see the link to Tidy Biology 2019, don't worry about that. We can set that up on the first day of class. Next, you need to install Slack. Slack is software um, that allows workplaces to communicate, and we will use it for our virtual office hours and to communicate in class. I will share several things uh, on Slack, so I'd like you guys to sign up for it. So go ahead and enter your email. You can click on um, uh, Try It For Free. This is a, um, a simple software that will allow us to uh, uh, share uh, information with each other. You can access Slack either through a web interface or you can access it through the um, a, a downloaded interface that looks like this. And so um, we have a, a channel called Tidy Biology, um, and uh, this contains intros and welcomes, data visualization, presentation, vignette, and several channels um, that um, you can then um, uh, sort of ask for a specific help, uh, such as the help channel, um, or share uh, some wins. So this is Slack. All right, now, if you are going to be uh, in class, then these are the two things that you absolutely need. Now, if you are following along at home, or you're not formally part of the class, but you would like to access the lecture materials, then these next couple of steps will be for you. Also, class members can complete these steps, and this will serve as an important backup should we have any problems with the internet accessing our Studio Cloud. So, what I'm going to walk you through is downloading R to your local machine, and then downloading R Studio. So, in order to download R, you first need to navigate to CRAN dot r dash project dot org. This is the comprehensive R archive network where um, all things R lives. So you can go ahead and click download R for your um, type of uh, a computer. And um, after downloading it, you can go ahead and run it. And it should look something like this. Um, you will see this pop up. It will load for a second. And then it will tell you the R version that you're using. And um, it is an empty console that allows you to type into it. Now, we will go over into class exactly what is R and its relationship to R Studio. So you don't need to worry about that so much right now, but it is important to install R first on your local machine if you choose to, uh, to follow along. Okay. All right, so if you've installed R, then the next thing to do is install R Studio, not R Studio Cloud, that's something that you just signed up for, but R Studio is an integrated developer environment. Again, don't worry about what that means right now. We'll go over it in the first class. But what you can do is you can go ahead and download our studio. This is free software. They have several different versions, but the version that we will choose is our studio desktop open source license for free. And you can download this. And what it will do 
is we'll open up a interface that looks something like this. Now, this is the R Studio integrated developer environment. You have a console, terminal, uh, jobs that are running. You have environment uh, connections. Again, we'll give you the, the introduction to what this what this is, um, but this is what it looks like if you've successfully installed it. Now you can see that R Studio loads the same version of our R that we just uh, installed. All right. Now this last step is going to be a little bit complicated if you haven't done this before. So I'll try to slow down and go through it with you. What we want to do is we want to download the course materials into this R Studio that you just generated. Okay, you can see that I have the course materials here. This is actually the R uh, Studio project um, for the repository, um, but you don't have that yet, and you need to put it on your own local machine. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. So you've downloaded this, and what you need to do first is you need to navigate to GitHub.com. G I T H U B. Dot com. And my lab has a repository at slash Hershey Lab. So if you navigate to this, either search for Hershey Lab or github.com slash Hershey Lab, you will see a couple of pinned repositories here. One of them is the Tidy Biology Lectures. If you click on this, what you'll see is all of the lecture materials that we will go over in class that are um, open and freely available and have a um, uh, ability to uh, follow along at home with these lectures. Now, in order to pull these into your local um, environment, you need to click on this green button here that says clone or download. When you do that, you will see an address pop up here, and if you click on this little icon next to that address, it will copy it for you. Okay, now what I want you to do is navigate back to our studio environment, go up to file, and say, I want a new project. This will be a new project just for you. Now what will happen is you'll have three different options to create a project. The one that you want is version control. Check out a project from a version control repository. That's the link that I just had you um, a copy. We got this from Git, so we'll click on Git. And now what we can do is you paste this into the repository uh, URL into this first box here. What our studio will do is will automatically create a directory or a folder with the same name as the repository. You can change this if you would like, or you can keep it the same. It's up to you. And then what you can do is you can choose where you want this, this folder to be a subdirectory of. In my case, I have it in a projects folder. And so if you click create project, what will happen is it will download all of the information from GitHub, which contains these several folders uh, class folders, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, a help file vignette, slides of the lectures, and um, um, a, a readme file um, also as well. When you have this, then what you will be able to do is you'll be able to click on this first class, and you will then be able to click on um, a, a demo, or exercise, or homework, and this will open up new files over here in this window. Again, you don't need to know exactly how or what to do with this information yet. I will walk you through each of these on the lectures. And so if you follow along the video lectures in this environment, then what you can do is you can uh, code along with us um, in these uh, live learning activities. All right, and there's one final step. What I want you to do is now that you have this repository cloned, is I want you to navigate to pre class. That's folder zero. In this, you will find install instructions .md. There, it has these instructions that I've just walked you through, but it also has some code that I'm going to want you to cut and paste uh, down here into the uh, console. Okay. So the first is this line of code here. Don't select the backticks. Just select everything starting with install.packages all the way to the second parentheses. I want you to copy this and then come down here and I want you to paste it and hit return. Now, what will happen is our studio will begin to install these packages. You will see uh, several 
notes come up. And again, I'm going to remind you not to worry about what is happening or what these mean. I just want you to do this so that you're prepared for class and that you can follow along. So essentially what you're doing is you're installing a group of packages called the Tidyverse, and then three additional packages, R Markdown, DevTools, and Grid Extra. Uh, we'll use these all in class. Then there's one final package I want you to download, and this is the package that I prepared specifically for this lecture series. I called it Tidy Biology, the name of the uh, course. So if you copy this and come down here and paste it, hit enter, again what will happen is it will install the Tidy Biology package um, and um, what it will do is it will the, the, it will download this information from a slightly different place. It will install it directly from GitHub rather from the place that these are stored. Again, the details aren't important, but if you do this, then you can have all of the information and all of the resources available for you to start class. So, again, if you have any questions about this, go ahead and post um, uh, your comments or questions below because other people might have the same questions and then we can answer them for everybody. Or you can email email at tidybiology.org. See you in class.